Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Asynchronous vs. Synchronous Programming Synchronous programming is the traditional way of writing code where tasks are executed one after the other in a sequential manner. This means that each task must be completed before the next one can start. This can lead to blocking behavior, where the program waits for a task to finish before moving on to the next task. While this approach is simple and easy to reason about, it can lead to inefficiencies and slow performance, especially when dealing with tasks that take a long time to complete, such as network requests or file I.O. operations. Asynchronous programming, on the other hand, allows tasks to run concurrently without blocking the main thread of execution. This means that multiple tasks can be started at the same time and the program can continue to execute other tasks while waiting for the asynchronous tasks to complete. Asynchronous programming is commonly used in scenarios where tasks can be executed independently and there is no need to wait for one task to finish before starting another. Asynchronous programming is particularly useful for improving the performance and responsiveness of applications, especially when dealing with I-O bound operations. By allowing tasks to run in parallel, asynchronous programming can help reduce the overall execution time of an application and make it more efficient. Code example here is a simple code example in JavaScript to demonstrate the difference between synchronous and asynchronous programming using set timeout function. Synchronous example. Output. As you can see in the synchronous example, the tasks are executed sequentially in the order they are defined. Asynchronous example. Output. In the asynchronous example, the set timeout function is used to simulate an asynchronous task that takes two seconds to complete. While the asynchronous task is running, the program continues to execute the next task without waiting for the asynchronous task to finish. This allows for better utilization of resources and improved performance. I hope this tutorial helps you understand the difference between asynchronous and synchronous programming and how asynchronous programming can be beneficial in certain scenarios.